on guys it's jay whips we're back outside the car's doing its rpm jump thing as i close my fence but it's time today is the big beamers versus the world meet i am running a little bit late and by a little bit late i mean a lot of bit late what happened was i'll explain it in a second so i gotta move kind of quick because what happened was i went to sleep with an alarm on and my phone died while i was sleeping so it never woke me up so i'm late but we're gonna make a move we're gonna make our way over there my buddy was supposed to come with me but i was late so he's probably went back to sleep but we're in the car i'm gonna put you guys on the hat cam in a couple of seconds and uh we're gonna start making our way to the first meet point and meet up with everybody all right so we're in a bit of a rush here uh i did end up picking my buddy up so we're on the highway now and i'm trying to make up time to try to catch up with the group i don't know how much of the ride i'm gonna get with the group but at least we'll get to do some cutting up on the way there we got a nice ride ahead of us here to try to make our way over to a dealership out in pennsylvania and i'm kind of just hoping that somehow the group is running late and that i run into them on the way there i also i should have got gas that's a, another problem we're at half a tank of gas i should have stopped it like i gotta go to a shell though I guess we'll just stop at a service spot. I can go to Sunoco or something. Cut up with the compass. I always love these turns. down now that's where I was the last prisoner <laughs> oh man so even though this is a very highly anticipated event my dumb ass still found a way to sleep and uh, my uh, my phone died I don't know if I told you already but my phone died while I was sleeping because I must have taken it off the charger or something and the alarm never went off so we're catching up with the group I didn't tell Long Island Beamer yet, but he's gonna be mad at me, but that's all right. Hopefully he doesn't want to kill me. I can't believe I'm already at the, at the cross off for the Belt Parkway in Cross Island. Oof. You should've come knocked on the door. Yeah, honestly. I would've, I would've been happy as f traction there coming out of that these roads are wild bumpy and if this is and I, I know i've told you guys before and i know my buddy here knows but these are my old stomping grounds for cutting up back when i was dating that girl in the city i used to always be in the genesis cutting up over here that's what that chevy to cut me off oh, planes coming out of jfk and stuff like that So bumpy, dude. Oh, we got a, a Beamer with us. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to go down Bell Parkway without getting a Beamer to cut up with you. And it doesn't matter what kind of series of car they're in. When you're in New York City, they are always crazier than you. Oh, I should have taken the inside one. Usually that one has a lot of cars on it. driving today boys definitely driving today it is look at this he's still right behind us it has been a minute oh it's getting tight up here it's been a minute since oh stay over there buddy since I did something like this hopefully this guy knows what he's doing it'd be even better if he uh, just happens to be going where we're going but I kind of doubt it how late we are. Oh, 
off the exit. He was hanging with me. We're in where's 981 territory right now. That would be so crazy if one day I was cutting up through here and, I, and now we got a Honda Easy with us, bro. It doesn't matter. It does not matter what you're doing in this city, man. Always somebody wants to cut up. Got an Accord following us up now. The roads are so bumpy that even my fixed mounted camera on my head is bouncing like crazy. Oh, we got a uh, construction zone up here. Yeah, honestly. Oy, oy, oy. These bumps are insane. All these taxes we pay in New York, you know? opened up a little bit after I went through it. Don't worry, I'll catch him. I shall catch him. A little embarrassing, not gonna lie. He, he, he got me real good on that one, but that's okay. We got three fucking rolling roadblocks here. Yeah, he got me good. Now he's gonna have to deal with me in open trap. Yeah, okay. Now I just, he put his hazards on so I weaved him like he's regular traffic. Jesus, these bumps are insane. It's an M4 right here. Oh, he's got, he's got his hazards on. Is he driving with me? hazards on it's kind of my at this I, the only reason I left them on after I buzzed the Honda was because it was my way of saying hey let's drive universal sign if we're cutting up I'm not sure if this guy's cutting up or not he made one move so I'm kind of banking on him and I could just whip that I'm not just send it. oh I didn't expect him to do that I, like I, he didn't have his blinker on until the very last second he waited mad long to make until he waited till I made the move to make the move. Right. Now we got five series here. I wonder if he'll get involved. I gotta get the the I don't want the heat to be on, but I gotta get some sort of oh yeah, he's definitely getting involved. Yeah, kinda. It's for a little while just to get rid of that, like, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna put this on. Alright, well, I think we got rid of that Honda. I haven't seen him in a little while. Oh, there's another. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We got an M8, an RS7, and that, yeah, these guys are going to the same place for sure. We got a little bit of a rally here. A little bit of rally going here. Oh yeah, M4, M8, RS7. Then that's a fire lineup too. The M8, the RS7, and the M6 is low key crazy. Look at the snake. 
That's how you know this event is big. You come out of New York two hours late, and you look at it, we got the M3 up there. All right, baby, let's go, let's go. Now, I was so disappointed in myself. I was gonna say, that's gonna be a couple. Yeah, right. Slept in gang, cutting up on the highway right now. M4 right there. Look at the big bodies, the big V8s moving crazy. Oh, they're really moving crazy. Oh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse is with us too. So the camera did its overheat thing that it does, which it's weird because I feel like it hasn't done that in a while. Oh, the Honda let me in, good dude. It uh, hasn't done that in a while, but I also changed to that super view that I've been doing, so that also could be not helping. Look at the Nissan truck. does got some hips what oh yeah yeah they're probably coming for us too just stay with the gang that's all we can do yeah I'm just hitting the hazards just in case oh yep they got it everybody knows good eye though yeah yeah oh yeah he's gone we're good all right so although we were late it doesn't really seem to matter. We got a little extra sleep and we got uh, ourselves a little rally, or a little rally of our own. It sucks that we didn't get to do you know, the, the rally with all the, with the crazy amount of like 100 and something cars. But like I said, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get lucky on the way back. All right, they're going the same way as me in the GPS now. Come on in, come on in. I got you, gang. Sounds so good. Yeah, that'd be sick. We'll probably see him on the track. Just take it. Yeah, me neither. Oh, what the hell? I rolled my window up and it went down. That's weird. This road, ine or not inevitably, but uh. What's the word? Indisputably? No. The word for notoriously, there it is. I was gonna say the, the, the word for B-I-G. Notoriously, this road is, uh, like in my videos, just horrible. Like I, I've, I've gone over that terrible section of road quite a few times. So I tried cleaning my windshield at one o'clock in the morning last night. I was outside cleaning it and it cleaned, but then it left all the swirls, which I don't understand window cleaner and a microfiber wipe so I don't, I don't get why that happened but if I gotta do it again when we get there I'll do it again all right so these guys are kind of chilling a little bit so I'm gonna pop the clip and then pop it back on if they, uh, if they start going crazy all right so up on the highway we've been driving pretty chill for a while so I haven't cut the camera back in but on the other side there you see there's an M2 and I think that's an M3 with that, uh, I forget what that's, I think it's called Signal Green, or no, I think Signal Green is the, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, let me stop making myself sound like an idiot. It's a nice color. It's one, it's one of the meat colors. You guys have heard me say it before that there's some colors that I think are good for meats, but when you're driving by yourself on the highway, it's like kind of not the right, not a, not a normal color to have, I guess, if you want to say. Like, I would never, I would never buy that car unless I had a whole bunch of them and I was going to make it look crazy for meats. Uh, what is that? Uh, RS3. Yeah, I was. I, I don't want. I was gonna say S3, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to short the guy. Two Audis. Don't see that too often for a Beamer meet. Well, it's Beamers versus the world. So here's the world. Even this though. Even though we're not driving crazy, like this is fire. I want this M3 to get next to us so I can film. Shout out to him. 
might have gotten everybody going too. Oh, we got some more beamers with us. Oh, no, well that's the same one. Not this guy right here. Oh, it's an M6. Oh, it's frozen. Yo, what's up? Look over here, bro. What up, gang? Close my window. Whatever it is, it is. I think it sounds good. It's probably got the same setup as me. That's a nice ass color. Yeah. It's so funny, like in pictures and stuff, I never really like how the drop tops look, but when I see them in person, I always kind of change my mind a little bit. Yeah, facts. It's See his bike. Look at those lights. Yeah, that's crazy. That's sick. All right, so back on the road, we had a little stoppage where we stopped on the shoulder for a little while because I think somebody was having some sort of emergency. But we are still kind of cruising, not going too crazy. We have a whole bunch of cars. Though. I got the M8 in front of me from the very beginning. The M6 behind me is uh, that frozen red M6. I'm actually friends with him on Instagram. Then uh, we still had the RS or the S. I keep calling it an RS7. It's not an RS7. Get the S7 with us still, and then a whole bunch of other cars. I think we still have a couple of M4s, a couple of M3s. There's always a couple of M4s and a couple of M3s with the group. All right, so these guys decided to start driving. We got the M8 and the 4 Series, I think. 4 Series Grand Coupe, I'm pretty sure. And uh, finally, we get some driving, and the M6 is coming with us. I'm hoping he didn't do that just to cruise. Get everybody all excited. <laughs> Who is? The black car? Oh, is he really? Yeah. I guess I'm leading. I'm cool with that. Frozen M6 behind us. A couple other cars, of course, that S7's involved. Oh, yeah, Frozen made that cut with me. Nice and clean. Turn this off. done to that car to find out that I can pull on him a little bit like that. That 
that seven is moving with us too. That could be the car. I don't know. He's got he's got a bumper sticker on his car. Not the M5, but the one after it. Are they driving again? Seventh gear. Seventh gear is a gas saving gear. It's not a it's not a go fast gear. Six is the last go fast gear. Oh yeah. That was some fing driving. My boys in the big bodies like driving crazy. Guess we're not done. like that but you can't be you can't be riding my bumper at 180 miles an hour
missed the rally, but I couldn't have asked for much better than cutting up with an M6, another M6, the whole way there. And we were mobbing too. I'm gonna stay here because I want this S7 to go around me. Oh, we caught up to the M2. And the, uh, wow, we caught up to where we were before we stopped. Yeah, that's insane. That's crazy. This is the group we were with before we pulled over on the side of the road. Starting to get, the views are starting to get a little bit better. Now, now this guy's getting wild close to the back of my car. Guy in the 430. Here comes the S7. As soon as we started speeding, every time we start taking off, I see the S7's headlights come in my head in my rear view mirror. right there someone pulled over on the side of the road ways of showing more cops up here so maybe that's why he's chilling too yeah oh, we're getting a gas notification I'm sorry for my series but So I had to stop and get some gas real quick, so that's why the camera was cut out. And I think it also died, or uh, yeah, I think the camera died at one point, and then it also, uh, oh, he's chilling. He knows what's, he, you know, he's hanging out there waiting for someone to do some crazy stuff. But uh, camera overheated at one point as well. We got some gas, getting pretty close to the location here. We're about 10 minutes out. So some good driving on the way in, some crazy driving, to be honest with you, so that'll be good. And then we got uh, a whole bunch of stuff going on today. I know there's a burnout competition, uh, I know there's an exhaust competition. I know there's going to be some racing. These houses are so sick in this area. Oh, I love that. It's only they get the open area over there. It's so nice. But we got a little. Oh, oh, here comes the cop. Oh my God, they're so annoying, bro. Is it coming? I, I always feel like it's coming for me, even though there's like seven of us. Pulling them 
Mustang over? I don't understand what's going on here. Or maybe he's escorting. You know, that's what happens. He's escorting us. That's what we're going to say. I mean, I'm not pulling over. I'm just going to keep going. The Mustang is stopping. I mean, he's a, I, I'm not, I wouldn't have done that. If I'm about, I wish I was in the back. Because I would have just kept rolling. I would let him follow me all the way to the track. Oh, there's that RS6. It ended up making its way into the video anyway. Well, not yet, but it will. For sure. There it is. He said, which one of these guys do I want to pull over for tits? Now I'll get whoever's in the back. Look at this. Oh, I thought this was a river. Still pretty sick. Yeah, it is. Cows. Dude, this is all so cool. This whole area is so cool. It's, it's weird that it's so condensed, though, with the houses. noticed a lot of these houses mailboxes have had like racing numbers and race yeah. things on them so these guys probably just had this is probably the houses that they stay at you know when the like there's probably a crazy car in that garage right that's the the big rich guys they got a house out here for just when they're racing one day all right, so we're on the final couple roads here. Put my car back in sport mode. We've passed a couple cops on this last road here, but we are four minutes out pulling into the event. And uh, I always keep the camera on pulling into the event because sometimes you pull in and there's just a line of some insane cars. These trees are cool too. This is an interesting area. I always look, yeah, I always love coming out to like the woody, woody areas of PA. This is a cool, cool property here. I did it on an accident, but it got me the pops I wanted. So we're finally here, parked up in a, in a pretty terrible spot. We got here late, as y'all know. But I actually remembered to bring window cleaner and all-purpose cleaner this time. So I'm gonna grab the all-purpose cleaner real quick out the back. And I don't know where it went, but whatever, we'll just, we'll just use this, it's the same thing. And we're going to spray a rag real quick and clean the engine bay down just a little bit so we can uh, have that open. But here we are, we're parked up, this is the event. A whole lot of cars, racetrack right next to us. And uh, obviously we'll be looking at cars, we'll be looking at some races, and uh, keep you guys tuned. Alright, so finally walking around, going to see if we can find some food. In the meantime, we're going to peep some cars, as per usual. We've got a whole lot of cars at this one. we got plenty of cars to look at. This is a purple M6 Grand Coupe. That's crazy. The music is gonna kill me in this one, I already know. Over there. Yeah. 
I've seen this Super before. Oh, look at that Camaro. Oh, these cars are crazy. These are like some full blown, like, like fully all the way done cars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some on TV type shit. Look at that. This is cool. It's got like a thing for a guy. This is crazy. You got that one over there. <laughs> That's nuts. Seen this on Sunrise Highway. I was cutting up with this guy on Sunrise Highway. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it looks like the food's right here. Oh, it looks like a good food spot too. Bro. <laughs> that is so funny. Alright, let's get some food and then uh, we'll get back to some recording. By the races now. Uh, oh, right lane. Oh, it's an R8. of a second. driving it too, it's him in there. I should snap it. This 
is the one right here. Five eight. That's just it's like seems to be what they're gonna do every time. Take the seats out, you'll do a nine five six. Definitely gonna drive around him. I think he did. Yep. Drove around him by a second. Wow. Second and a half. <laughs> Bro. That thing got nasty up in gear. Oh, that's the Honda that was walking behind us. That was when we were eating and going, what were we doing making that noise? Honda EK hatch walking around a Hellcat. So I'm kind of going back and forth between showing the cars and showing the racing. Uh, I don't know how much racing is left, so I park my car up next to Frozen M6. Check his out. He's got the carbon exterior kit on his. It's a sick color. Me and him were cruising together, obviously. You all see the footage of that. So we're parked up next to him. And now I'm going to show you all some cars. This thing is tough. I like how it's got dirt on it. You know? He's like rallying it. But yeah, we're gonna walk, show some cars, hang out by Long Island Beamer's booth a little bit, and then uh, there should be 
uh, a burnout competition and a an exhaust battle. So I'll try to get you guys on for that, obviously. But I gotta stay away from the music. You might like right over here. <laughs> Legalish. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty nuts. That's uh, that guy's put a lot of money into that GTI. Oh, this thing's clean as hell. This thing is crazy. Look at the he's got the fuel sitting here. E85 just sitting outside the car. Talk about smiles per gallon. There's a couple cans of it right there. this car Red shop. Oh, oh, oh. oh let's see. Let's go the Red's, Red's booth is right here. Yeah.
guys have seen that car in the shop how many times. And then Long Island Beamer, he had the green F3. Cloud nines too. Yes. I just noticed that. I didn't even realize he had the full, full. So yeah, exactly. On the in the engine bay, it looks exactly the same.
love you on that first one. Nigga, what's real good? I've been all about the bitch, but I won't take the bitch up to me. I wish a nigga would. 